Hey everybody, it's Tabo Fishing and we just got here to Atlanta, Georgia. It's my first time in here and I want to talk about the lures and combos that I'm going to be throwing and, and the lakes that I'm going to be going in the morning. So I got here a different kind of base that I'm going to be throwing and extra, extra ones that I'm going to be uh, throwing maybe if I see the lake they shallow or maybe like the, the color of the lake. I want to see first the, the color of the water, if they raining or they're going to be a lot of wind. So the three combo that I bring, especially when, when we got a new place, I need to have a finesse combo. But in this time of, uh, of, the, of the months, we need a uh, base that they're working um, they look the, the same the, the, the bass they're eating. So for me, if I'm searching bass in a new lake, I'm going to be throwing a leafless lip, a squam bait. So I'm going to be changing about the weight, 5, 16 and a half. I don't go in three quarter because they're going more, more uh, deep and they can be stuck. So for me, the combo that I'm going to be throwing it's gonna be seven one medium heavy, and the braid is gonna be ten pound, and the leader is gonna be between twelve and fifteen fluorocarbon, and this rod is a a rod that I can use drop shot, that I can use leaper scrambait, that I can use wacky rig, that I can use a lot of baits, but. That's the purpose to, to be only three rods. When I'm, when I'm doing a, a video in a, a different place, I don't want to be uh, running crazy with seven rods. I, I only can be uh, three to four rods, and, and especially the ones that, I, that I'm bringing, for me, it's going to be the, the or purpose that, that, that I can cover all this lure. So for the leaper scramble, I'm going to be throwing this one is going to be the goal for clear water and maybe a, a little bit of dirty water. And then if the water is going to be dirty and this bad, they, they are like in the rocks or something like that. I know the white color or something like, like transparent, that's going to be the deal. So white, transparent, or maybe a chrome. It's gonna be the deal with the Louis Prescrum Bay, changing the way and see how the, the bay is in the suspended or is in, in the bottom. So I need to check that when, when I throw a moving bay like that. And then for the second combo, it's gonna be another spinning rod, but this one is a seven feet, uh, medium side. Um, it's gonna be eight pound braid. I change it a little bit more finesse. And I'm using 12 pound uh, fluorocarbon for the liter. And then this bait is gonna be the flea loader. It's gonna be the new bait that, that everybody is catching bass in the tournaments. But this one I've been throwing for when they got new. I buy this lure and then I've been catching bass in Tampa. And this one is uh, the rod that I, I'm gonna be using for finesse especially the, the a little swim bait like this, or maybe I throw a, a little bit of, of, of walkie too, but a small walkie. And this one is only gonna be with the with the swim bait. The swim bait that I'm gonna be throwing and the jig and everything, is gonna be this one. And why I have three or more ways is because I need to check if the, if the shot or the, or the the little fish that the, the bass I'm eating is suspended, it's, it's in the bottom, or oh, I need to check that. And how I'm gonna do it, I change it the way of the bait that I'm gonna be using. So this one I have different kind of weight, and then it's gonna be using the BMC hybrid jig. And if I don't have no bite with that finet, uh, swing bait, I'm gonna be changing with the with the largo shaft 
and then I'm gonna be throwing something a little bit more big and something that have more more uh, move in the tail. So this one is for the clear water, and this one is gonna be for the dirty water. Especially the white is the color that this kind of year. Uh, this kind of month when they get dirty in the water, the white with a little bit flash is gonna be the deal. And when I'm using a uh, Largo chat, I like to use 3.5 and, and 4.0 is the, the deal with that. And then when I'm using white, I'm using the chartreuse color, I'm putting a little bit in the tail. And that way I can put a little bit more uh, color that they can see it for far or long distance, uh, the best they can see it. So for the drop shop, uh, I'm gonna be using the Finet Nico. This one I have the one zero and two zero. And then for the the bait that I'm gonna be using for drop shop is depend on the on the, the color of the of the water. I'm, I'm gonna be using white or green punky or, or maybe red or jumbo. But for me, if I'm gonna pick one, it's gonna be white. And Another bait that I'm gonna be throwing in that set is gonna be a cranberry. Cranberry is gonna be one of the best lures for this kind of month. I can cover um, kind of little bit of the, of the middle side of the lake, and I can cover five feet, four feet, three feet, and I can cover uh, water fast. Especially um, the color that I'm gonna be using, white, green and, and kind of orange or red and what else I can use in that rod. I don't like to use a jerk bait and a spinning rod but if I don't bring the it's casting that is like 6'6 six, six, medium side because I don't bring it I'm gonna be using with the maybe the seven foot medium I'm gonna be throwing uh, suspended jerk bait and the new jerbay for Rapala. That's kind of two the the two baits I'm gonna be using. And the last combo that I really always had to have a heavy action rod that I can throw a Tesla rigs. I can throw a punching. I can throw a lot of stuff. And this one is a three seven three heavy action. It's a fast action. And this one I bring it with the 20 pound full of carbon. I can use a big bay. I can use a different kind of bays. But this one is a, I have it with the talking rig. And this one I have with two weight. This like one in the corner, I can change your weight. I can put more weight, like three A's. But I don't like to use a lot of weight when it's like, uh, when it's not windy, when it's windy, I can use Two ways on um, three eight is gonna be better, and the color is gonna be jumbo. I can use black and blue, or I can use white. Um, the rod, especially I, I like to use in, in this kind of bait. I like to use the heavy action. I can set the hook and keep it that that bass with the hook on, and I like to use um a reel. It's a high speed reel. Seven five two one to a one on one is the the reel that I'm using, and this is the 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 weight that I'm using. One in the corner, and this is the Tokyo rig that I'm using. I like to use a three zero four zero five zero depend on if the bass are finicky or not. And then if I see the bass are, are more like finicky, I, I'm gonna be changing the color and because of the water clear, if the water is like dirty water or something like that, I'm gonna be changing the color. I'm gonna be doing the the black and blue. This is the Bronco uh, Buck, it's the new Rapala too. So this one, they got a lot of movement and when the bass, they, they wanna see something more movement, this one is gonna be the different. And the last one that I'm gonna be throwing 
in the 7.3 heavy action and it's going to be a chatter bait half ounce chatter bait I like to use in this kind of uh, a weather like this they got a lot of rain and the water, the water is going to change it I'm going to be using white and chartreuse and, and maybe black, black and blue so this is going to be the, 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 the base that I'm going to be using and here in Atlanta, Georgia. And let's see if I can bring a big one or maybe a lot of cash. So let's see what's going to happen.